afternoon, former Covenant Finance Director Bob Dew appeared in court today in front of a Kenton County judge. This time he appeared to change his plea after he used his position to steal hundreds of thousands of dollars from the city of Covington. Local 12's Joe Webb joins us live from the Kenton County Courthouse with the latest. Joe. We'll get a 12-year pattern of stealing taxpayer money. We'll get Bob Dew at least 10 years in prison and possibly 15 years. Plus, he's also been ordered to pay back that nearly $800,000 he stole as Covington's finance director. Now, wearing Kenton County jail pink and handcuffs, Bob Dew arrived for his change of plea this morning. In court, Dew owned up to duping Covington out of $793,000 between 2002 and 2013. He pled guilty to 15 charges, the same charges he was indicted on last fall, including abuse of public trust and theft by deception. Now, Bob Dew manipulated Covington's financial software to cover phony checks he was writing to himself, so it looked like they were actually being paid to legitimate city vendors. Now, the criminal case against Bob Dew is wrapping up, but there is one big unanswered question. What did Bob Dew do with the money? Mr. Dew has denied a gambling problem. He's denied a drug problem. He's denied any other sort of addictions that might account for where this money went. So uh, the long story short is no, he hasn't explained to us where all the cash went. So we've been able to trace some of it, but not all of it. Now, Bob Dew will be formally sentenced on April 17th. His attorney says that he will call witnesses to the sentencing. He has hopes of convincing Judge Gregory Bartlett to sentence Bob Dew to 10 years instead of 15, but he will get at least 10 years. Now, he says Bob Dew has been fully cooperative and he needs to get out of jail so that he can make Covington whole.